Li Baden. It is said that Li Yusheng, a student of Imperial College, is the second son of Old Man Li Shengyu. Old Man Li was very rich and had so much gold that he stored it in jars. The villagers called him Li Bai Jar. In his later years, when Old Man Li couldn't afford to fall ill, he called his two sons and divided the gold between them. The elder brother gets eight tenths, and the younger brother gets two tenths. Li Yusheng was dissatisfied and complained that his old father was to bias towards his brother. The old man said, I am not partial to anyone, nor do I like anyone or dislike anyone. There is still gold in the house. I have to wait until there are not many people before I can give it to you. Don't worry. A few days later, the old man became seriously ill. Li Yusheng was worried that once his father passed away, he would not know the whereabouts of the hidden gold. So he secretly asked the old man at the bedside when no one was round. The old man said, The joys and sorrows of a person's life are all destined by fate. You are now enjoying the blessing of a virtuous wife. I should not give you more gold, so as not to increase your sins. Turn out to be, Li Yusheng's wife's surname is Che, and she is a very virtuous person. She really has the virtues of Huan Xiaojin and Meng Guang, so old man Li said this. Li Yusheng begged bitterly, and the old man said angrily, You still have twenty years of suffering. Even if I give you a thousand tails of gold now, it will be over soon. Don't expect to get gold until you are at the end of your rope. Li Yusheng has a loyal character. Filial piety. After hearing what my old father said, I didn't dare to ask again. Not long after, the old man became critically ill and then passed away. Fortunately, my elder brother was a kind man and he didn't care about the funeral. Li Yusheng was an innocent man who did not begrudge money. He was also very hospitable and could drink. He has to urge his wife to cook three or four times a day, organize banquets, and entertain guests. But he doesn't know how to manage the family and business. The scoundrels in the same village often bullied him when they saw his cowardice. So the family business gradually declined. Fortunately, when life was difficult, my brother helped me to some extent, so I was not very poor. Soon, his brother died of old age and illness, and Li Yusheng lost his support and often went without food. They borrowed money in the spring and repaid it in the autumn. The food grown in the fields was all distributed as soon as it was put on the field. They had to sell the land to make a living, and the family business became more and more out of control. A few years later, his wife and eldest son died one after another. Li Yusheng was sad and bored, so he bought a sheep seller's wife as his wife, hoping that having her would make his life a little better. The new wife's surname was Su, who had a strong temper and bullied him every day. So much so that Li Yusheng did not dare to have any interactions with relatives and friends, such as weddings and funerals. One night, he dreamed that his father said to him, your current situation is at the end of your rope. I promised you gold in the past, but now I can. Li Yusheng asked, Where is the gold? The old man said, I will give it to you tomorrow. After I woke up, I felt strange and thought it might be a fantasy that happened because I was extremely poor. The next day, Li Yusheng was digging soil to build a wall and suddenly unearthed a huge amount of gold. Only then did I realize that the time when there were not many people the old man mentioned in the past meant the time when nearly half of the whole family died. Alright, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.